hi friends welcome back so today we will see uh, set 2 of 2021 uh, computer science gate uh, paper so again i'll uh, tell you answers only you can uh, have a quick recap or if you need uh, the detailed solution you can visit to uh, google or uh, in the other forum like gate overflow geeks for geeks and all right so let's start with our uh, first section that is uh, general aptitude so first question is uh, gauri said that she can play the keyboard dash her sister so the answer for first is as well as so gauri said that she can play the keyboard as well as her sister right uh, the next question is that uh, this is the figure a transparent sequence sheet shown above is folded along the dotted line so the folded sheet will look like right so if we fold that so how will it look like uh, the answer for this is b you can get that as well if you fold the picture right so because if you fold uh, toward this so it will uh, make a leaf like shape like we have this we will get the value of x as 4 right you can solve it and get the answer okay so the next question is uh, pen is as right so knife is for what so uh, yeah this the answer for this is uh, our c that is cut right pen is as right knife is for cut next question is listening to music so this is the paragraph uh, this contains two marks right you can read it and uh, which one of the following statement is correct inference of the above passage so after reading this passage you will get the answer as c listening to music has a clear positive effect on physical exercise music has a positive effect on learning only in uh, some students okay now the question number seven uh, says that uh, this is the figure a jigsaw puzzle has two pieces one of the piece is shown ever right and which one of the option uh, for the missing piece when assembled will form a rectangle okay so the piece can be moved rotated or flipped to uh, assemble with the other piece so uh, if you look into this you will get the answer of seven as a so what you will do is you will just uh, Take this part from here okay and uh, uh, try to uh, assemble it here so then uh, this shape will look like this and this will complete the rectangle okay now the next question that is eight the number of student in three classes is in the ratio of 3 13 6 if uh, 18 students are added to each class the ratio changes to this one okay so the total number of students in all the three classes in the beginning world so the answer of 8 is c that is 88 all right and the uh, question number 9 is that the number of units of a popular should is there uh, three different years and the respective net profit are present in the figure above okay so the cost unit in year 3 was 1 which was half the cost unit in year 2 so the cost unit in year 3 was one third of the cost unit in year 1 taxes uh, were paid on the selling price at 10% 13% and 15% respectively for the 3 years net profit is calculated as the difference between the selling price and the sum of cost and taxes paid in that year so the ratio of the selling price in year 2 to the selling price in year 3 so the, the answer for 9 is a that is 4 ratio 3 10 question is 6 student PQ, RST and U uh, with the distinct height uh, compare their height and make the following observation right so S is taller than R, Q is the shortest of all, U is taller than only one student, T is uh, taller than S but is not the tallest so the number of students that are taller than R is the same as the number of students shorter than so answer for 10 uh, will be our option C that is S now we have MCQ uh, for uh, one marks okay let G be a connected graph a connected undirected uh, weighted graph consider the following two statements uh, there exists a minimum weight age in g which is present in every minimum spanning tree of g if every age in g has distinct weight then g has a unique minimum spanning tree so which one of the following is correct so answer for uh, this one is our 
see that is s1 is false but s2 is true as if every h in g has distinct weight then g has a unique number of spanning tree question number second was let h be a binary minimum uh, heap consisting of any element implemented as an array what is the worst case time complexity of an optimal algorithm to find the maximum element in h so the uh, answer of second is c that is uh, theta n now consider the following on c program right int main integer x return 0 so which one of the following phase is uh, a seven phase c compiler will throw an error right so here for question three we will get answer as c that is a semantic analyzer okay now question four is the format of the single precision floating point uh, representation of real number as per the ieee 754 standard is as follows sine exponent mantisa right which one of the following choice is correct which with respect to the smallest normalized positive number represented using the standard so for question four uh, the answer is c that is exponent uh, is this one and mantisa is this one now question number five is which one of the following circuits implement the boolean function given below so this is the boolean function that we have and we have to get this circuit from this so we will get the very first answer that is option a okay four by one marks now the question number six is consider the following statement s1 and s2 about the relational data model uh, a relational model uh, can have at most one foreign key and a foreign key in a relation scheme R cannot be used to refer to tuples of R. Which one of the following is correct? So for uh, question number six, we will have the answer as D. That is both uh, S1 and S2 are false. Okay. Now the question number seven is consider the three-way handshake mechanism followed during TCP connection uh, established establishment between host P and Q. Let X and Y be two random 32-bit starting sequence number chosen by P and Q respectively. Okay. Suppose P sends a TCP connection a request masses to Q with a TCP segment having S, Y, N bit that is one and uh, sequence number is uh, SCQ that is X and acknowledge bit is zero. Suppose Q accepts the connection request. Okay. Which one of the following choice represent uh, information present in a TCP segment header that is uh, sent by Q to P. See uh, this answer is again you will have to uh, if you haven't done this earlier such kind you will have to uh, do practice for these. Okay. And uh, this will require some paperwork pen work right. But I'm telling the answer only uh, as I said that uh, this is series for answers only where you can recall all your concept in one go so for seven our answer is c that is uh, s y n bit is one sequence number is y acknowledge bit is one acknowledge number is x plus one and f i n bit is again zero now uh, question number eight is uh, what is the worst case number of arithmetic operation performed by recursive uh, binary search on shorted array of size one so again for a the answer is b as uh, it will take log n right theta log n now uh, let l is subset of 0 1 and asterisk or be an arbitrary regular language accepted by minimum dfa with k state which one of the following language must necessarily be accepted by a minimal dfa with k states so for question 9 our answer will be c that is uh, 0 1 of uh, asterisk minus l now the uh, tenth question is consider the following C program. Okay, so this is the program. Uh, all right, and there are we have two loops that are running on, and uh, at uh, the last after the exiting the loop, there will be one print statement. Okay, so which is the output of the program? So you can uh, do a quick trial or hit or run the uh, program here right and you can make column for ij then you can uh, do the arr ij and perform the operation so i'm telling the answer again so the answer for this you will get is 24 
consider the following uh, sets where n is uh, greater than equals to 2 so set of all n into n matrix will entries from the set abc set of all functions from the set 0 1 2 uh, n square minus 1 to set 0 1 2 so which one of the following is again correct so for this answer as this is msq so we have to answer here what is there exist a surjunction from s1 to s2 and the second is uh, there exist a bijunction from s1 to s2 now question number 12 is uh, let l1 be a regular language and l2 be a context free language which of the following language is are correct right so for 12 our answer is b c d this one this one and this one now question number 13 is uh, in the context of compilers which is uh, which of the following is not an intermediate representation of the source program so again here not uh, we have to consider that and the answer for this is that is a uh, symbol table over d which is not an intermediate representation of source program right now we have question number 14 that is which of the following statement uh, is are correct in context of cpu scheduling so for 14 uh, our answer is acd that is uh, turnaround time includes waiting time a round robin policy can be used even when the cpu time required by each of the process uh, is not known a priori and implementing uh, preemptive scheduling needs hardware support now question number 15 is choose the correct choice right regarding the following uh, propositional logic assertions s so this is the logic that we have given and uh, for this the answer is our b and d that is s is tautology and uh, the next is the uh, antecedent of s is logically equivalent to the consequent of s now the question number 16 uh, that is uh, consider again this is numerical uh, answer type so you can uh, read and solve this right consider a complete binary tree with seven nodes okay so let a, uh, a denote the set of first three element obtained by performing bfs starting from the root let b denote the set of first three element obtaining by performing depth first search starting from the root so the value of a minus b is then for 16 uh, we will have the answer as 1 consider the following deterministic finite automation that is a dfa right so this has uh, this is the dfa that we have given and the number of string of length 8 accepted by the above automation is so the length should be 8 right and uh, how many string it will accept so you can get it we have the answer is 256 now uh, the question number 18 is uh, if x and y are two decimal digit and uh, right and 0 0.1101 uh, uh, in decimal uh, that is equal to uh, this in decimal so the decimal value of x plus y so the decimal value of x plus y we will have is 3 okay you can get that consider a set assertion cache of size 2 kb uh, 1 kb equal to 2 to the power 10 bytes so with cache block size of 64 bytes assume that the cache is byte addressable and a 32 bit address is used for accessing the cache if the width of the tab field is 22 bits so the uh, associativity of the cache is then we will have uh, an uh, answer for 19 is 2 now consider a computer system with a DMA support the DMA module is transferring one 8 bit character in one CPU cycle from a device to memory through cycle stealing at regular intervals so consider a 2 mh megahertz processor if 0.5 percent processor cycles are used for DMA the data transfer rate of the device is then for 20 we will have uh, that will be 80,000 uh, bits per second right uh, you can again uh, do this uh, numeric uh, in your paper and get the answer similarly for 21 uh, the question is a data file consisting of 150000 students record in shorted on a hard disk okay with block size of uh, 4096 bytes the data file is sorted on the primary key roll number uh, the size of a record pointer for the disk is 7 byte 
so each student record has a candidate key attribute called enum if size 12 bytes uh, suppose an index file with the record consisting of two fields so a number value and the record pointer to the corresponding student record is built and sorted on the same disk assume that the record of data file and index file are not split across disk block so the number of block in the index file is so again the answer for 21st uh, is over 698 for question 22 uh, for a given basis based coin the probability that the outcome of a toss is a head is 0.4 so this coin is tossed uh, 1000 times right uh, let x denote the random variable whose value is the number of time that had appeared uh, in these 1000 tosses so the standard deviation of x rounded uh, to two decimal places is so the question uh, answer for 22 is 15.00 to 16.00 right now for 23 uh, it is asking that the sum function there is a function okay and this function is performing some um, operation and the value written by some function for this value so we are passing x as 15 and y as 255 okay so after considering all the operations so the final value will be written from this function will be uh, 15 okay because uh, this is in one go you can see that uh, now for 24 suppose that p is a uh, 4 into 5 matrix such that every solution of the equation px is 0 so is a scalar multiple of uh, this transpose so the rank of p is so again for 24 our answer is 4 okay uh, 25th is suppose that uh, function r to r is a continuous function on uh, the interval minus 3 3 and a diff uh, and a differentiable function in the interval minus 3 and 3 such that for every x in the interval is this then f3 is at most so for 25 the answer is 19 multiple choice question mcq okay so this carry two marks now the question is consider the string uh, this one each letter in the string must be assigned a binary code satisfying the following properties okay for any two letters the code assigned to one letter must not be a prefix of the code assigned to the other letter so for any two letter of the same frequency uh, the letter which occurs earlier in the dictionary order is assigned a code whose length is at most the length of the code assigned to the other letter so among the set of all binary code assignments which satisfy the above two properties so what is the minimum length of the encoded string so for 26 the answer is b that is 23 27 is assume a two level uh, inclusive cache hierarchy l1 and l2 where where l1 is the largest of the two consider the following statement read misses uh, in a write through l1 cache do not uh, result in right uh, right backs of dirty uh, line to the l2 right and write allocate policy must be used in conjunction uh, with write through cache and no write allocate policy is used with writable cache so for 27 our answer is a that is s1 is true and s2 is false now for 28 again uh, I'll tell the answer directly that is suppose we went to design a synchronous uh, circuit that processes uh, a string of zeros and ones okay given a string it produces another string by replacing the first one in any subsequence of consecutive ones by uh, a zero consider the following example so this is the example uh, a melee machine is a state machine where both the next state and the output are functions of the present state and the current input so the above mentioned circuit can be designed as a two state melee machine and the state in the melee machine can be represented using boolean value 0 and 1 so we denote the current state uh, the next state the next incoming bit and the output bit of the melee machine by the variable stb and y respectively assume the initial state of the melee machine is 0 so what are the boolean expression corresponding to uh, t 
and y in terms of s and b right so for 28 our answer will be b that is t equal to b and y equals to sp for 29 again in the examination a student uh, can choose the order in which two questions question a and question b must be attempted right if the first question is answered wrong the student gets zero marks right if the first question is answered correctly and the second question is not answered correctly the student gets the marks only for the first question and the third is uh, if both the questions are uh, answered correctly the student gets the sum of the uh, marks of the two questions so the following table shows the probability of correctly answered a question and the marks of the question respectively so question a is this one marks is 10 question b is this one and marks is 20. assume that the student always wants to maximize her expected uh, marks in the uh, examination in which order should uh, she attempt the questions and what is the expected marks for the order assume that the question are independent so uh, for 29 uh, as uh, we have done this already and uh, the answer was only uh, this d that is first question a and then question b accepted marks 16 okay so you can solve it by your way and uh, get the answers and if you uh, have already done uh, this question or like a previous year solved question so you can just recall uh, how you got the answer as d now for 30 uh, the question is consider the following c program okay so this is the program that we have there are a uh, one loop and two conditions okay assume that the variable y points to a struct allocate on the heap containing two fields f1 and f2 and the local variable uh, this and i are allocated registers common sub expression elimination optimization is applied on the code so the number of addition and uh, difference operations of the form y is greater than f1 or y is uh, y ten y tends to f1 or y tends to f2 in the optimized code respectively are so for question 30 our answer will be uh, d that is uh, 303 and 2 now the 31 is the relation scheme uh, given below is uh, used to st uh, store information about the employees of a company where employee ID is the key and uh, department ID indicates the department to which the employee is assigned. Right. So each employee is assigned to exactly one department that is uh, imp ID, name, gender, salary and department ID. Consider the following SQL query. So this is the SQL query that we have and the above query gives for each department in the company the number of female employee whose salary is greater than the average salary of what so for 31 again we uh, done this the answer is uh, average salary of employee in the company that is answer b now the question number 32 is saying that let s be the following schedule of operation of three transaction t1 t2 and t3 in a relational database okay so this is the uh, relational database consider the statement p and q below s is conflict serializable q if t3 commits before t1 finishes then s is uh, recoverable which one of the following is correct so for 32 our answer will be b that is p is true and q is false okay now 33 is a bag has r red balls and b black balls all balls are uh, identical expect identical except uh, for their colors in a trial a ball randomly drawn from the bag its color is noticed and the ball is placed back into the bag uh, along with another ball of the same color right so note that the number of ball in the bag will increase by one after the trial a sequence of four such trials uh, is conducted uh, which one of the following choices uh, given the probability of drawing a red ball in a truth a trial okay so again for 33 our answer is a that is r or divide by divided by r plus b now for 34 consider uh, the cylinder uh, ren redundancy check crc based error deducting schema having the generator polynomial that is x cube plus x plus one suppose the message this one uh, is to be transmitted check bits c2 c1 c0 are appended at the end of the message by the transmitter using the above crc scheme so the transmitted bit string is denoted by this uh, 
and the value of the checkpoint sequence uh, c2 c1 c0 is so again for 34 our answer is c that is a uh, 100 now again we have another program and uh, this is a program of link list right and which one of the following uh, uh which one of the statement below is correct about the program okay when again you again uh hit and try the program okay you will get a uh, more conceptual thing once you uh, start doing that but for now i will tell the answer only that is for 35 it is d uh it references an uninitialized pointer that may result in a runtime error okay i hope you have done this as well and you uh, got uh, the concept behind why the answer is d now question number 36 again uh, i'm telling you there will be lots of videos on youtube lots of things on internet that will give you detailed solution of the each and every question right and if you are uh, wondering for solution detailed solution you can check them out okay but they actually takes more time and uh, here this is only for your uh, recap uh, purpose so you can quickly recap all your concepts here so for 36 consider the following two statement about regular language every infinite regular language contains an undecidable language as a subset and as two is every finite language is regular so again for 36 our answer is c that is both s1 and s2 are true for two n dimensional real vectors p and q the operation uh, s p q is defined as this right so let lambda be uh, a set of 10 decimal non-zero uh, real vectors such that for every pair of distinct vector this zero uh, what is the maximum cardinality per, uh, possible for this set lambda right so for 37 our answer is b that is 10 now for a statement s in a program in the context of uh, liveness analysis the following set are defined so uh, these are use in out consider a basic block that contain consist of two statement s1 uh, followed by s2 which one of the following statement is correct so again for 38 our answer is a that is out s1 equals to in s2 now for 39 uh, for constant uh, a is greater than equals to b and b is greater than 1 consider the following recurrence uh, defined on the non negative integer right so this is the equation which one of the following option is correct about the recurrence tn so you can uh, quickly solve this recurrence relation right by applying all those formulas and i'll tell as i'll tell you the answer only so the answer for this is c that is this one okay so you can tick c now now the question number 40 uh, again that is saying suppose the following functional dependency hold on a relational uh, relation u with attribute p q r s t right p tends to q r r s tend to t which one uh, which of the following functional dependency can be inferred from the above functional dependency so again for 40 our answer will be first is a that is uh, ps tends to t right then c that is p tends to r and then d ps tends to q now for the 41 it is asking that for a string w we define wr to be the reverse of w for example if w uh, equals to 0 1 1 0 1 right then wr 0 1 uh, wr is 1 0 1 1 0 which of the following language is r context free so for 41 uh, the answer is b c d it is b1 c1 and d1 for 42 it is asking that uh, consider the following multi-thread code segment in mix of c and pseudo code invoked by two processes p1 and p2 and each of the processes span uh, two thread t1 and t2 so for again 42 our answer will be uh, this a that is both p1 and p2 will print the value of x as 2 right and uh, for this we will have another answer that is d both t1 and t2 uh, in both the processes uh, will print the value y as 1 so you can get it from here by uh, simply hit and trial uh, the program 
Now for 43, again consider a computer system which multiple uh, shares resources types with one instance per resource type. Each instance can be owned by only one processes at a time. Owing and freeing uh, of resources are done by holding a global lock L. The following scheme is used to own a resource instance, right? So for 43, uh, this is the program that we have, which of the following choice about the above scheme is true or correct so uh, for 43 first is a the scheme ensure that the deadlock will not occur right and for then b the scheme may lead to uh, live log and then c the scheme may uh, lead to starvation now question number 44 is if the numerical value of a two byte unsigned integer on a little Indian uh, computer is 255 more than that uh, one a big Indian computer which of the following choice represent the unassigned integer on a little Indian computer for this the solution is a and again D okay now question number 45 uh, this consider a computer network using the distance vector routing algorithm in its network layer so the partial topology of the network is as shown below okay so this is the topology that we have and the objective is to find the shortest cost path from the router r to router q uh, r p and q assume that r does not initially knows the shortest router to p and q assume that r has three neighbor routers denoted as x y and z during the in, uh, interaction r measures its distance to its neighbor x y and z as 3 2 and 5 respectively so router r gets routing vectors from its neighbor that indicate uh, that the distance to router p from routers x y and z are 7 6 and 5 respectively so the routing vector also indicates that the distance to router q from routers x y and z are 4, 6 and 8 respectively. Which of the following statement is R correct with respect to the new routing table of R after updation uh, during this iteration? So then for 45 our answer will be B and C that is the distance from R to Q will be shorted as 7 and uh, for C the answer is the next to hope router for a packet from R to P is Y now consider the following graph okay this is the graph which one of the following is correct for this above graph so a is the graph does not have a topological topological order so a is correct and another answer for uh, this graph is our b so a b both will be answered that is the depth of first traversal starting at vertex s classifies three directed edges as back edges now for 47 you can see that which of the following regular expression represents the set of all binary random uh, that are uh, divisible by 3 so assume that the string uh, silen is uh, divisible by 3 now for 47 our answer is a b c so you can get that uh, these will be uh, divisible by 3 Now for 48, uh, consider the three level page table to translate a 39 bit virtual address to a physical address as shown below. Okay, so this is the virtual uh, address we have. The page size is 4 KB. Okay, and the page table entry size at every level is 8 bytes. So a process P is currently using 2 GB uh, virtual memory, which is mapped to 2 GB of physical memory. So the minimum amount of memory required for the page table of p across all level of uh, all level is uh, what so here you will get the answer of 4108 after solving uh, this and 4108 will be your answer in kb okay uh, i have already solved all these question in detail and that is why i am asking uh, and suggesting you guys to uh, do quick revision like when uh, i read the question so th in my mind uh, the pictures are generated okay I solved this question at that time and this was the uh, logic for that and that was the answer exactly all right so for 49 uh, we have a C program that is uh, this integer function all right and inside main we are calling this function and uh, 
at the end it will print the value of r written from this function so uh, here for 49 we will have the answer as 60 you can uh, run the function and get your answer now let s be uh, a set of cons consisting of 10 element the number of tuple of uh, the form a b such that a and b are subset of s and a subset of b is so for 50 our answer will be 59049 okay 59049 so 59049 will be the number of tuple of uh, this form now 51 consider the following augmented grammar with uh, these symbols as the set of terminals okay so these are the grammar and the number of items in this set go to go to and this is the expression so if you solve this you will get the answer as 8 here for 52 consider a boolean function that is f double x y z such that these are the function the number of literals in the minimal uh, sum of product expression of f is uh, you will get answer as 6 here now for 53 consider the pipeline processor uh, with 5 stage instruction fetch if instruction decode id execute ex memory access mem and write back wb each stage of the pipeline except the ex stage takes one cycle assume that the id stage merely uh, decodes the instruction and the register read is performed in the x stage so the ex stage takes one cycle for uh, add instruction and two cycle for a multiply instruction ignore pipeline register latency here so consider the following sequence of eight instruction add multiplication then add multi add multi add multi okay assume that every uh, multiplication instruction is uh, data dependent on the add instruction just before it and every add instructions uh, except the first add is data dependent on the multiplication instruction just before it so the speed up is defined as this right and the speed up uh, achieved in executing the given instruction sequence on the pipeline processor rounded to two decimals so this is the value we will have to round so when uh, we solve it we got the answer as uh, 1.87 to 1.88 okay so you can type it like that now 54 is consider a network using the pure aloha uh, medium access control protocol where each frame is a length 1000 bits so the channel transmission rate is 1 mbps that is 10 to the power 6 bits per second thus aggregate number of transmission across all the node in including a uh, new frame transmission and a transmitted frame due to collision so is modeled as a poison processes uh, with a rate of 1000 frame per second throughput is defined as the average number of frames successfully transmitted per second so the throughput of the network rounded to the nearest integer is so for 54 our answer will be uh, 132 140 now the last question we have is uh, in a directed a cyclic graph uh, with a source vertex s the quality score of a directed uh, path is defined to be the product of the weight of the edges on the path further for a vertex v other than s the quality score of v is defined to be the maximum uh, among the quality across of all the path from s to v okay so the quality score of s is assumed to be one now the sum of the quality score of all the vertices in the graph shown above is so we will get the sum that is uh, as 929 so 929 will be the answer of this question okay so i hope uh, although uh, these were more conceptual paper and there was uh, very less thing uh, that uh, we could uh, recall but yeah if you have solved the whole question uh, once in your time then you will definitely uh, get this video handy because most of the concept you could quickly recall right and uh, these are really helpful because once you keep re uh, rem remembering all those concept and questions so let's say in future if the same question appears or the concept of same question appear you could at least uh, recall that again quickly okay 
So yeah, thanks, thanks a lot.